was just showing that you can do this. Yeah, it doesn't talk to you. You're trapped here. Are you filming this? <laughs> You're not a good actor. <laughs> So today is the day we're going to check out the Nature and Science Museum. It's one of my favorites when I was a kid. Um, it, it's like everything a child would love. So if you have kids, definitely take them there. And we'll show you some of the attractions. We can't really show it all because it is a museum and they are kind of strict on video cameras and stuff. But we'll show you as much as we can. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do a race with pennies. And three, two, one, go! Mine's going clockwise, yours is going counterclockwise. He can wear this. Oh, he needs the kirtle on first. What was that? Is that that? That's the belt. Well, I don't know. Is that what you want? Yeah. Okay. How many layers does this guy wear? Alright everyone, I'm sorry we don't really have any video of this. We didn't want to kind of film kids that we don't know. It would be kind of weird. So we just got a shot of the kids area of the museum. There's some dinosaurs they can climb on. There's a little dig area, a water area. It's really cool for kids. They also they do a little... Spot. Yeah, they have a toddler spot. They do performances for the kids, too. It's pretty neat, actually. Um, so, sorry we don't have any footage of actually being inside, but go ahead and check it out for yourself if you've got little ones. I'm sure they'll love it. This planet is amazing. Did that pen make you guys... Abby. Okay, so I need you guys to understand this. This is like my hand in this heat sensor area, right? And that me. Long sleeves. But so. look at the tips of her fingers. All right, put your hand in there. There they are. Her hands are freezing. Why is this freezing? I don't really what know. What is that? But watch how cool this is. Okay. Okay. Observe. <laughs> it just goes away. Oh god, there's a ghost here. The horror. So scary. I'm scared of it. Bye. Cave of Horrors. Look at the treasure. but there's a hell hole. She's in the ah. hell hole. She got hurt, the demons took her. <laughs> we gotta go. There's more treasures. They still look like jello. I'm gonna bite it. But soft what light through yonder window breaks. It is the east and the rocks are my sun. from the museum. Woo. Um, so here are our tickets. This is, um, this one's just for the exhibit itself. These ones are for the IMAX show we saw. 
Um, we also got some popcorn there because we're weak. <laughs> <laughs> and their popcorn rocks. I feel like it's the best popcorn ever. It's so good. Um, if we had Sanyam's here, he could kind of do a better review of it, but hey, it was just us today. <laughs> um, so, oh, whoops. Throwing away Viking. Good at filming. Um, so here's the ticket to the special Vikings exhibit that's running right now. Um, it was eight ninety five with the membership. Now, I got the dual membership, which means it can be myself and a guest. I believe it was around $75 for a whole year. Um, so we got two tickets to the paid exhibit. We also went to go see this IMAX show about extreme weather. Now, that with the membership was about $7. I don't know the non-member price. I can go ahead and put that over the screen in a second. Um, but yeah, so this one was pretty interesting. I would say, though, if you have small kids or anybody kind of sensitive to disasters, be a little careful about who's going to go see it, because there's some pretty intense imagery regarding, like, fires and tornadoes. Um, it's not scary, per se, but if you're sensitive to that, just maybe keep that in mind. Um, we've also got some pretty cool stuff from the museum shop from the Viking exhibit. We'll go ahead and show you that, too. Alright, so here we are to show you all the cool stuff we got from the museum. Now, we only visited the Viking shop today. Um, there's another shop open um, regardless of the exhibits that are open at the time. And they've got some pretty cool stuff as well. However, this is just from the Viking exhibit. Um, first off, we've got some cool rune stones. This has like a little guide to reading them. They're from Starlinks, handmade in India, which I think is kind of cool. Um, she'll go ahead and spill those out. Now, I got the rose quartz ones. They were about $30, so not too bad. They're really pretty. I like them. Um, so they're going to be a lot of fun to play with. Whoops. That's not how you handle them. I'm sorry. <laughs> My hand isn't big enough for this. Um, there's also some other stuff in the bag. Okay. <laughs> Now, here's one of the candles that we got. It's got a rune on it, and I don't really know how to pronounce it. I'm not going to try just because I know that I'm going to say it wrong. It's the rune of justice. So it looks like it points to true, right, and justice, as well as reaping reward. It's this really pretty kind of purpley color, and it smells so good. It almost smells a little bit like pomegranate. These were about $15 each. Um, we unwrapped this one so I can go ahead and show you. Um, but they wrap it really nice for you so it doesn't get damaged on the way. Um, this one is a creativity rune. Again, I'm not really good at pronouncing. <laughs> the rune of fire and illumination. It points in especially good for artists and musicians. It's this kind of mossy green color. It smells a little bit plant-like too, which is pretty nice. Um, That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got home and Pepper's looking pretty tuckered out. We're feeling about the same way, so we're going to go ahead and sign off for today. We'll see you next time, though. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.